motherfucking sh section to take a motherfucking shot, two, three, four, or five, and get the fuck up and have a good time. Bitch. No boys. No boys. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Kendra's. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday, and yeah, Kendra is hosting a nice little giveaway. So I'm calling it Steal My Wardrobe. I'm having a early spring cleaning, okay? I'm just trying to let go of all of this stuff that I have in my house that I like either no longer wear, can no longer fit, or just didn't had it for too long and it's just time to let go. I have a tendency of like holding on to things. Like I literally have clothes from high school. Y'all, that was over 10 years ago. It was like 12 years ago years ago <laughs> so I'm in the season of just like releasing you know I've been doing some like self-reflecting per usual always and I just realized that in order for me to step into my receiving era I have to step into my releasing era in order to receive you have to make room to receive what you want and need to receive so I'm in the in a space where I'm just so ready to let go and this is my first time doing something like this um this is like this was kind of hard for me at first, but then, I don't know, it kind of got easy. Like once people was telling me that like, oh, cause I sent the invite on Instagram. So once people told me that they were actually coming, I was like, oh, let's get rid of more stuff. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I guess I'm a, like a people pleaser as well. So I'm just like, oh, and if people say that they're coming, you know what I'm saying? Let's give them more, let's give them more. So I did like another sweep of like my wardrobe in my house. And I'm just like, I'm so ready to like let go y'all so yeah i have like everything here is free like everybody is coming everybody who can come everything that's out here is free for the most part i have like a few like home decor stuff that i put like little tags on um but that's also like negotiable like we can bargain you know what i'm saying but yeah everything is free take whatever you want how much you want and uh, yeah because your kindred is like so ready to like let go okay but i did also tell them that you know what I'm saying? I gave them my cash up just in case they wanted to tip your Kendrick for putting on this little situation shift. So I even ordered like cookies and wine and stuff. I gotta get the wine out. I ordered some like sweet blush uh, jam jar wine. I ordered two bottles of that and I got some like, you know, like little cookies, you know. I wanted to keep it simple and um, a variety box of chips. So I gotta go downstairs actually and go get the chips. But I'm gonna show you guys my little setup real quick of what we got so far. Like this stuff right here is like the home stuff that I've had these paintings since my since like my third apartment. So I had these since like 2000 and freaking 2000 and like 15, right? It's 2024. That was almost 10 years ago. And then these mirrors, I just got these mirrors, but these mirrors were in the wrong size. I, I mean, I thought that they were gonna be bigger and I had them in my room, but I definitely don't want them. And I've been trying to sell them on Facebook Marketplace, but for some reason, ain't nobody been buying. So I put these up for like $20 each cause I paid $60 for these and these are new. And then this, like I said, $5 each, but you know what I'm saying, we can bargain. And then these I got from H&M Home, but I have nowhere to put them now. So I put these up for like $5 each. This is free, free. This is actually from Z Gallery, but it's a little wobbly. So I'm just like, we can like give it away for free. You know, this and that. And then I have like this table full of like knickknacks. And so like purses, glasses, makeup stuff, even like a little workout bala ball, cause I already have one. And then skincare stuff. So like this watch right here, this watch is like 170 something dollars, but I've never worn it. So I just put it up there for $10. I feel like that's, that's cool. And then this rose, only because I know someone, like everyone's gonna want it. So I'm just like, whoever's willing to pay $5 for a brand new rose, there you go. <laughs> and then this is like my little lineup of shoes that I'm just like ready to like let go and give away. And then I have like two belts over there. And then these are like pants and stuff. And this is like a, a maxi skirt, but my butt won't let me wear that. It's so cute, but my, literally my butt won't let me wear it. So those are like pants and stuff. And then I got like my Halloween costumes and then like extra stuff right here. These are like extra skirts and stuff that I just couldn't hang up. Matter of fact, this is a cute little dress that I've never worn, but I don't really see myself wearing it. I'm trying to switch up my wardrobe and my style, but 
yeah and then this is the rack full of clothes and I was like okay it's time to like let go you know so hopefully all of this stuff is gone by the end of the day and then I have like some matching sets in here workout clothes PJs and like satin robes and stuff and then um bathing suits like I say like 85% of these bathing suits are brand new they still have the tags on them but my titties are too big now and I can't wear this stuff like so cute Super cute, cute bathing suits and cover-ups, but yeah, time to let go. And then I went ahead and I just ordered these little thank you bags <laughs> from Amazon, just in case the girls didn't have their own bags. They got some little thank you bags that they could use. And yeah, that is literally everything thus far. Super cute and simple. So yeah, I literally just created like an invite, um, an invitation on Canva. This is the invitation right here. Super easy, created on Canva, posted on Instagram, told the girls to DM me, they DM me. And then I sent out an actual invite with like my address and stuff on um, Hobnob. Hobnob is like a, a app that you can use to create invitations and send them out to people. So that way you can get a list of like who's coming or whatever. So I have to now check the I have to see who said that they were coming, so I have two time slots, from 12 to 3 and then from 5 to 8. Because it's Monday, I figured everybody wasn't going to be able to make it early in the afternoon. So I have two time slots, so I have to see who's coming now at 12, so I can register their car for parking. And yeah, I also need to change. I need to hurry up. So yeah, let me go downstairs. Well, let me change and then go downstairs and then register people's cars. <laughs> Okay, I'm excited though. Look, look wait, 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 wait. Let, let me show you how dramatic I am. I have the runway playing on the TV and then this is the music that we're listening to. You're gonna feel like you're in the store. Hey Google, play Little Things by Georgia Smith. It's not gonna play the song, but. Choosing songs is only available with YouTube music. It's gonna play the vibe. But you might like this station. Now playing on entryways. Oh shit! Y'all know the song. This is so cute. I'm gonna open up the blind actually so they can get like a little view. You know what I'm saying? A little view or whatever. Yeah. It'll bring some like natural light into here. I think that's cute. So yeah. What are they gonna be like? Is that for sale? Um, no. Let me go ahead and change and then take my butt downstairs. Okay, so I threw on this really cute little blue, well, it's not a set, but I made it a set. I got it from Target. That's a bodysuit. It's like a thong bodysuit. It feels really, really good. It's like Skims, too. I think it was like $15, $20. And then these pants, I think I got for like $20. I wish I would have got them in a medium. I got them in a small, and I feel like they fit too tight. I wanted them to fit more like loose, you know? And then I'm trying to think if I should just put on some flip flops or something so i think my slippers are look they look a little too bulky but yeah this is just what i'm gonna be wearing super cozy whatever but one more thing i'm low-key contemplating it's this dress right i've been holding on to this dress for some really odd weird reason like i said i have i have attachment issues so i use items a lot of times to like hold on to things as yeah so this dress is a super cute dress beautiful dress lovely so sexy to this day would wear it but not gonna wear it this is the dress that i wore that night of the incident and if if not it's like my face isn't enough of a reminder but i held on to this for so long and i'm just time it's it's it's, it's time to let go um it's time to let go so i'm contemplating whether or not i should let someone have it because it's a super cute dress it's so sexy or if I should just throw it away. Cause a part of me, a part of me believe in like energy. Like this, I feel like this holds a lot of energy. Maybe not for the other person, but for me. So maybe I could let somebody else have it. Or should I just throw it away? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know, but it's so cute. And I feel like I don't wanna waste, I don't wanna waste it. I don't know. Or if I should just throw it away. I don't know, I'm contemplating, I don't know. But, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I know it's just time for me to let it go. For me to let it go, for sure. Okay, so I was able to get the box of chips. And I had to go the cute um, kettle brands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just feel like this looks way more uniform than getting like Doritos and Achios and all that extra stuff.
good. Oh, okay. So, I got... Oh. So, I got... Everything else is free. But, like, the mirrors and the pictures and stuff, I'm, like, ready to let go. So, I put, like, little numbers up there. Oh, my gosh. You're so much. Mm-hmm. I bought a little bag. I even put the little thank you bags oh, right there. Money. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Apple Pay was. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I like that. And then all the clothes up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. These need to be clean. Maybe I should wipe these down. Somebody. What size should you wear? Uh, I wear six, six and a half. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So I got these really cute clear heels that I got from Boo Boo, but I feel like my feet getting too wide. I might need to lose some weight. <laughs> yeah, like, you been in the gym? Oh, I love that for you. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, wait, girl. It's, it's 8739. I don't know where that got the final one. Oh, that's interesting. Somebody else has that plate number there. Okay, let me try it again. I said, I hope we ain't share no nigga in the past. <laughs> <laughs> she said, that wasn't the right one. Hold on. I said, oh, well, interesting. That popped up. You, you must have remembered that plate. Well, let me find that. Hold on now. <laughs> That's so funny. Give me, give me a second, y'all. I gotta get, make sure everybody <laughs> call register. I don't want nobody to get booty chat. I bought, I bought some rosé. Oh, thank you. You know, oh, we love that. Yeah. I'm like, it's a little bit early for some wine. No, it ain't because I got nines right now. I don't know if y'all want to say hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, so I said the thing that I wanted to say that I
Because we all want to have all black people. Mm -hmm. You know, all last night. I'm it's recording. Uh, mm -hmm. Never trust yeah, all a friends. bitch that lets your kitchen show yeah. in videos. <laughs> <laughs> my bitch, you know your kitchen was showing up a phone. You wanted that motherfucker out. I know for real. I can't see the back of my head. That's why I had to bitch, pop you know this they, little red they, they kitchen. Cause my kitchen, kitchen was cooking. I mean, y'all know how I be throwing down, but not in the back that's of my head. That's why he said, "Shit, I want that kitchen where that video." Go ahead, that's why he look cute. Come for a second shot. Yeah. So it's like, what are we gonna do? Shop. I gotta hold on. Say, say like that. I gotta do this shit. This why don't you just do this? <laughs> just the way motherfuckers be trying to content create for y'all, and y'all so fucking ungrateful. Okay, hold on. Content be like. She likes to lean. She want the Gucci. Okay, there we go. Cause yeah, <laughs> okay. You just gonna put it right. to a good motherfucking night. Cheers. Cheers. Boss. No boss. You bitches need to stop being fucking boring in your motherfucking section to take a motherfucking shot two, three, four, or five and get the fuck up and have a good time. No boss. No boss. <laughs> no boss. Oh wait. Hit it with the wrap around. Ain't no blue around my shot before you can excuse the mess we made. It usually doesn't rain. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 it be easy. Letting go is what I do. So why are my feet nailed to the floor? And why am I holding on to you? Why was last night the first time I felt it in the long time? Feels like I'm falling off. Said my whole heart made up its own mind. Love ain't what I came for, but it's here now and it feels good. Told me you was your soul and you did what you said. I don't wanna leave this bed. Hi guys, it is the next day. It's actually late at night. It's 11 o'clock at night, it's 11.13. And um, I'm about to clean up my place. So I kind of slept in today. Kind of slept in today because we, we went out last night. And then I woke up this morning slash afternoon and I have just been like editing on my computer, responding to emails and stuff. And I don't know, it just took me a minute to kind of like catch my groove today. Like a long minute. A long minute. It's 11 o'clock at night. So I kind of like just showered, um, did a little bit to my hair to kind of make me feel good so that way I can be productive tonight and really clean up my house because I haven't touched anything since the giveaway. <laughs> haven't touched anything since the giveaway. So the table is still up. The rack is still up. There's still some clothes left behind, some shoes left behind. I'm just like, dang, I was hoping that everybody would just like take everything so that way I wouldn't have to worry about it. Like, I cannot believe that people left these things behind. Like these shoes are so freaking cute. Like, are they crazy? <laughs> <laughs> like even just little stuff like this like this is just like a cute simple tank top like you guys are bugging this dress is brand new never worn it this is from um J Lux label super cute i would keep it it's just i don't have my i just feel like some things are just meant for your boobs to be done <laughs> uh, if i had my boobs done i would definitely keep this um yeah, just like simple stuff. I just feel like people could have taken this right here. A simple like maxi dress, which I might end up keeping for myself to like walk around the house in. And then this cute little leather skirt. This leather skirt that I had um, went viral on Instagram. It was one of my viral photos on Instagram. This is super cute. I've never worn this, but I can see why that wouldn't be like everybody's style or whatever. Um, this little simple satin black dress. I'm so surprised nobody grabbed this because I feel like this is a staple in everyone's wardrobe. I just can't fit it. Um, let's see. What else? This is a cute dress. I think people, somebody would, people would have had to have tried this on to be able to see that this is like a really cute dress. I guess, um, <laughs> I guess, uh, uh, jumpers aren't in style anymore, which is so hilarious. Um, oh my god, this freaking dress from Zara is so freaking cute. I wore this when I was in Miami two years ago. It's so cute. I might actually keep that since nobody grabbed it. 
Mm -hmm. I'm actually really glad that nobody grabbed this top because I think this is so cute and I'm going to style the fuck out of it. So I'm so happy that actually nobody grabbed it. <laughs> and then this dress right here is a super cute dress that I wore for New Year's last year. Um, I'm going to post it on Instagram to see if anybody wants it because that picture did really well on Instagram as well. This um, blazer, I'm so surprised nobody... People must not have any job. People must don't have jobs anymore. Cause what? Why didn't nobody take this blazer? And uh, oh, these are the pants that go with the blazer. What? People are crazy. Nice little suit. I can. Well, this is kind of cute, but Mina Mina Monroe. This was I got this from her website actually. And yeah, so that was kind of like everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna bag this stuff up and take it to Goodwill because I just don't have the time and don't have the energy. It's so crazy because this is, let me show y'all. This is a little like lounge jumpsuit that I had out for someone to grab. Mind you, all the clothes is free, it's so crazy. And nobody grabbed this. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna keep this because this used to be my little like walk around the house you know what I'm saying? Cute little lounge, little set or whatever. So <laughs> look at me. I'll put it on today. But um, so mind you, there's like a lot of other like cute stuff. But I'm just like, I might go through my little rack myself and figure out what I want to keep. And then I'll bag everything up and take it to Goodwill tomorrow. But um, yeah, so the goal tonight, literally, I'm about to lock in tonight and get this place in order. Um, Cause I'm in. <laughs> I mean, coming into town tomorrow. Yes, y'all get to see Brandon again. Okay, I just love when he comes into town. So he's coming in tomorrow. Um, so that's super exciting. And then, um, if not tomorrow, Friday. <laughs> Don't you start. If not tomorrow, Friday, um, I'm gonna go to Goodwill. But to do a nice little recap, um, that was super fun. It was a lot of girls that came. Well, I would say there was probably like a total of like 15 girls that came, which was a great turnout. Um, I didn't specific personally because I did get a few more messages on Instagram, but they were like last minute messages um, on the day of for like the later. It was just too last minute. I did get a lot more messages on Instagram telling me that they wanted the details. There was even girls messaging me after like after hours saying they want the details i'm like bro it's over like no more details <laughs> but there was probably like a total of 15 girls 15 to 16 girls that came by yesterday and um yeah i mean the turnout was great like i said i wanted it to be an intimate like type of vibe anyways because this is my home and then like one of the girls she did say she was like i'm surprised you did this like you didn't do like a peer space and I was like, no, this is kind of like a last minute idea. And I feel perfectly fine. Like, mind y'all, I work from home. So when someone books an appointment, guess where they're coming? They come into my house. But I also get their information. I get their first and last name. I get their plate number. You know, so I feel I'm good. I got concierge downstairs, security walking around the building, cameras everywhere. So, you know, I felt fine. So, no, I didn't do a peer space. And she was like, people are crazy. And I'm like, yeah, but you came. <laughs> yeah, but you came, didn't you? But um, no, so that was cool. So next time, if I do something like this, that was a great idea, though. I'm not going to say it was a great idea. Is to be more like, is to be just more prepared. And um, actually plan like a nice, cute giveaway. My friend Angui, she did a giveaway, actually. Um, she had like did a um collab or she had like worked with like a college like a nearby college like a local college and her her mission was to give back to college students who could not afford you know new clothes and stuff like that because she was once a college student um so that was her like agenda for me this was a little more personal i'm just in a space where i am truly trying to um step into my receiving era and in order for me to um be able to do that i have to release and let go of the past and just like things that i've just been holding on to objects clothes like the fact that i've had clothes in my wardrobe from high school like 2010 I graduated in 12 it's 2024 y'all that's crazy that's like a little i'm like a i'm like a little porter not like
like a horrible hoarder where I just like keep stuff everywhere and it looks a mess. No, but I'm a little hoarder, like a little. I have like notes from high school, middle school. I got like di my diaries from middle school. Like I hold on to a lot of stuff, y'all. But um, yeah. So I'm definitely in my phase where I'm just trying to let go and step into this new, this new, this new season, this new era. You know. So yeah, this was like the first step for me. But like I said, when and if I do this again, um, I'm going to actually do like a really cute like event, you know, and you know, have like a peer space or something, maybe have um, a brand sponsor it, you know, something like that. I think that'd be like a really good idea. But like I said, this was something that was super personal for me, uh, something that I really needed to do. Um, and uh, yeah that's just that but it was super exciting meeting some of my kindreds like i had some girls come through the door and was like hey kindred this is so so real i'm like oh shit, hey kindred so that was like super cool and like i love how like supportive and motivating my kindreds are as well like you know one of my kindreds she was just telling me like how inspiring i was for her and like how she can really like connect with my story and how like relatable I was. And then another one of my kids, she was just like so happy. She was like, I'm just so happy that you are the same in person as you are on camera. I'm like, how else am I supposed to be? And she was like, girl, you just don't know. And I'm like, girl, please tell me, <laughs> you know, give me the tea. But, um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. And then one of my other, other kindreds had gave me a great idea, which I actually saved her number because we're going to have to do a little chit chat when she comes back from being out of town. I think she's going out of town, but um, she gave me a great idea. Basically, she was just like, she literally came through the door and was like, when are you doing a trip? I said, excuse me? She's like, when are you doing a travel trip? I'm like, um, uh huh? And she was just like, no, really, it doesn't have to. She was like, all oh, basically, like, influencers are doing, like, travel trips and stuff like that. She was like, you don't have to do anything that's, like, you know, too much or, like, you know, they, the, basically, like, the, you know, come with me to Bali type of trip. So she was just like, you could do, like, a self-wellness trip. She's like, that's your brand. And I'm like, it was like a bell that just ringed in my head. Because I just feel like I'd be so hard on myself. And I don't really be knowing. I haven't truly, truly identified what my brand is. And when she said that, a big light bulb came into my head. But I was just like, you are absolutely right. And I immediately, I was like, I'm going to save your number. We're going to talk. <laughs> so that was like pretty cool. So that was that. So there's a lot of good things that came from um the giveaway slash steal my wardrobe i was like that's so cute steal my wardrobe like and i remember like um i came up with that slogan a while ago like when i first started like blogging like blogging like i had a website called nlsa wardrobe and um uh i had a few like different slogans and like things that i used to write about or whatever so yeah, still my wardrobe. I was finally able to do something like that. I was like, oh, that's so cute. I was kind of able to bring it to light, still my wardrobe. So, um, yeah, I am, like I said, about to clean up my place huh. and get into my groove. Somebody actually took the dress. Cause I wasn't, I was too busy trying to like make sure everybody's parking was great, make sure everybody got like you know their drinks and their snacks, you know, showing them like you know the little setup or whatever. And I totally forgot about the dress. I was supposed to call my mom and ask her like, what did she think? Like if I should keep the dress on the rack or if I should throw it away. But like I forgot I had a lot going on. And at the, by the end of the night, I realized that someone had took the dress already. So I was just like, you know, um, for anybody who came, I do feel like wherever you go like if you go to if you are like a thrifter or even when you go to the store and buy stuff because people can buy stuff and return them and then they put them back on the rack i feel like whenever you receive something gifts you know stuff like that i feel like you should always uh pray over things that you receive or things that you get you should always pray over things um sage over things you know whatever you whatever your thing is do it um so that way you can Whatever that object is, whatever that thing is, could have like a clear, a clear, a clear aura, a clear energy, you know, where it's just nothing but whatever you do with it. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, yes, but like I said, for anybody who came and grabbed anything, I, I highly suggest you pray over it, sage over it, you know, because, you know, I'm just big on energy, you know. 
key, no key of why I've never even worn the dress ever single ever again. But the dress is super cute, and um, I think it'd be perfectly fine because that's my that was my experience, my energy. You don't know, I have nothing to do with that, so it'd be perfectly fine. But yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. I did enough little rambling. I'm trying to like knock out because I'm not trying to be up till like five o'clock in the morning, which I could definitely see myself doing that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a little before, and then I'll show you guys my after. Cause my place is a hot ass mess. From the living room to the bathroom to the closet to the bedroom to the kitchen, the entire apartment is a mess, y'all. When shut to your heart without looking your skin. No one has the power to hurt you like you can Kept it inside, didn't tell no one else Didn't even want to admit it to yourself And now you're just burns in your back aches From 15 years of holding the bay And now you only have yourself to blame if you continue to live this way Get it together, you wanna heal your body Get it together, you have to heal your heart Whatsoever you soul you will reap Get it together You can fly Fly God bless the men that come into the house not empty-handed. <laughs> he, brought, he brought some milk duds. He not love me some milk duds. This is new. He ain't never seen me buy these before, but we gonna make it work today. And these are my all-time favorite cherry sizzlers. Cherry or strawberry? I prefer cherry. Yes, so good. The only thing he missing is the lemon heads. The chewy lemonade. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's okay. Yeah, this is this is a perfect concoction. Thank you. God bless the men who know how to use a screwdriver <laughs> and a drill <laughs> and a hammer. So while he's doing that, I'm going to be going through all of this <sighs> mail and paperwork. Oh wait, that's not paperwork. <laughs> Wait. Well, I still need to go through this, though. <laughs> but I'm going to be going through all of this mail and paperwork. These are documents all the way documented from 20 goddamn 14. So, that's almost, that's almost um, 10, 10 years ago. That is 10 years ago. 2014, that's 10 years ago. Wow. So, we're about to go through that. So basically what Brandon's doing is he's taking this shelf and putting it over there and taking the mirror and putting it over there because I just think it's going to be better. It'll be better for when I'm doing hair. My clients can see the television. I get the natural lighting from the windows going into them. So, you know, with content wise, I can, you know what I'm saying, do my thing. And yeah. Hmm. I need a new one of those anyways. You see that crack right there? Yeah. Shit raggedy. I think it's because I, I put hot tools on there at first. This is, I think it was before I got this or I can't remember, but no, I got these at the same time actually. I just wasn't thinking. I thought that this was heat proof or something and I was putting <laughs> my hot tools on this and then it just cracked and said beep. Or actually I think the hot tool was left on right here and the heat from that just made it crack. Yeah, but still. Can I finish it looking different? Or it's done for? It's done for, ain't it? Yeah. I don't think that was that much anyways. That wasn't even that expensive. Huh? And then I have the little stuff to patch these holes up if need to be. Yeah, I was going to do that anyway. And then we're going to take this mirror down, too. I'm so excited. Let me do my little job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, the other person that put that up, he ain't do none of that. 
Tic tac toe, three in a row. Why am I so childish? So you just want the mirror over there. What? It's the ceilings for me. We can't go back down to low ceilings. All of our ceilings have to be high, for the most part. Like in our townhouse, the main area, like the living room, the kitchen, the ceilings have to be high. She the bedroom too. Actually, we we have to do high ceilings. We can't do low ceilings ever again. You're one too damn tall. And two, what they say? Once you go black, you can never go back. Mm -hmm. So once you go up, you can't ever go down. Is that childish to think? I don't think it's I love high ceilings. I don't want to go lower than high ceilings no more. And then mind you, I came from high ceilings in New York, my studio. If I could have high ceilings in New York and have high ceilings in Atlanta, why would I go back to regular ceilings? What's regular ceilings? Ten foot? Eight. Eight foot? So Eight. how much is this? My studio was 20 foot ceilings. High. Is it 15 foot? Yeah. Yeah. I think my other it's ceilings are... Yeah. Oh, because of the little thing up there. Mm. Thank you, my business. Yeah. Thank you. This is my business, literally. Yes, it is. My business. Yes, it is. Um, thank you so much for coming. No, thank you. Yes. You know, and it's, it's funny because it's kind of like one of those things. Like, what's an athlete going to talk about in regards to relationships? Yeah. And that's the thing that I that I love about this platform. Yeah. Is just being able to show that different side. I literally just went through all of my mail and stuff. And... <laughs> mail and like paperwork and stuff like that and this is look at that that is so beautiful compared to what it looked like earlier and then that's all the trash right there look at there look at there and then i was recently going through oh hold on i just went through this <laughs> tin this is like a lot of like my like little military stuff like military stuff and i, I didn't even know what this was but when I went through it, I was like, oh, this is so cute. And guess what I found? Uh, <laughs> but I came across this really cute Sony camera, camcorder. I was like, oh my God, this is so freaking cute. Where's the power button? Oh, wait. Yeah, I think we got to do it like this. Hold on. <laughs> I want to, oh, matter of fact, let me show y'all. Can y'all see y'all selves? This is so cute. I was like, this kind of reminds me of paranormal activity like type of recording. I was on the phone with my friend and she was like, what you gonna do with that? I'm like, vlog. Give a different type of like aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta, I gotta um, order me a, a SIM card that goes with this camera from um, Amazon. So that way I can start vlogging on this too. Cause the camera quality looks good. I mean, it looks obviously a little outdated, a little, a lot of it outdated, but this is super cool. And the fact that the camera flips around, so it's like literally perfect for vlogging, but this definitely gives me paranormal activity vibes. Ah! And if y'all don't know me, if y'all ain't know, I personally love like scary movies and stuff. So to have that type of like aesthetic on the vlogs will give. What you think, babe? I mean, it's definitely cool. Right? Sounds different. Yeah. Oh, this is so nostalgic, y'all. I got another camera, too, that I hold on to. My first camera, I think, was a Nikon. This is so cool. Ah, it looks so good. The feta cheese, too good. The tomatoes in a cucumber. <laughs> Kudos to the chef. You know, Chef J in the house. Uh huh. <laughs> And then we got drinks over here. Well, that's for Brandon. Hold on. That's for us. She done brought the Don Julio and the vodka. Period. We have some lemon drops. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now, baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing and slow down, baby. We took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town.
Greetings, my country citizen for my new day. I literally just left dinner um, with friends and we went to Verdure Burger is this uh, restaurant that I came across on Instagram and I've been meaning to check it out so we finally checked it out today. The food is really, 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 really good and the cocktails are really good too. I would say the service is really good, the ambiance is really good, ready 10 out of 10 for sure. I definitely recommend you guys going. And then after that we went to the liquor store. Um, I went to go pick up a bottle of like a reposado and some lime juice. I personally love lime juice and ginger beer so I picked that up because we are throwing on the a surprise going away. She's moving to California. Y'all, I've been like crying on and off all day. And um, yes, I'm a little emotional. But yeah, she's moving this coming week. So we're gonna do a surprise like go away type of situation. So I actually need to call her and tell her to come on because I just got here. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the girls. Yay! Okay, Barb says so she's on her way. But um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and set up. Um, no one's talking to Amelie, so it's gonna be like a complete surprise to her. Girl, we love you. We are going to miss you um, so dearly. Oh my god. So yeah, and uh, shout out to Magda for throwing us in a group chat together. She threw us all in a group chat together and was like, you know what? Um, he's leaving. We should throw a surprise thing. And I'm like. Yes, girl, I'm talking ah, language. But um, yeah, so let's see what Magda already got set up so far. Let's, let's go. Let's oh, go. You just stay here. Hello, okay. LA. I'm here okay. for good. Do you like I this right here, or do you? Should I put it somewhere else? Maybe down so she could take pictures with it. Yeah, I'll put, I put it some. On, I have, I put them on here, but it almost like takes away from the balloon. Yeah, I mean we could put them on the floor in front of the mirror. Strap it from the balloon. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, this is actually perfect. So That's a good idea. And it like just blends in. Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> it's like bittersweet. No, like it, it looks like I'm fine or not. Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> it looks like I'm fine or not. <laughs> like shut the front door. No, that's okay. So what do you think? Like, the decor's so pretty in here. I'm yeah, sorry. we don't need it, right? Okay, let me go Save grab it. the Take speaker. Okay, yeah, yeah. Or just here. Mark is so cute. She got the Hello LA. Oh, so cute. And she got some cookies. So she's gonna get a tray to make this all like cute or oh, whatnot. And then the cake is so cute. And then. She got some sparklers, so this is gonna be so cute. Absolutely love. And then we got the bottle of repesado. And then I had to grab some lime juice, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't know she had like, well she did say she had juices, I totally forgot. Passion fruit slash and some lime lemonade or some lemonade, raspberry, ooh, nice. So this is good, and then the lime juice. She's gonna go get some ice, and we got the cute pink cups. Yes. LA, she is going to do great things in LA, guys. Oh my God. She's gonna be so great. But we are definitely gonna miss her. She's definitely gonna be missed. I was crying in a car. I was like, Brandon, why am I so emotional? He just got so quiet, he didn't even know what to say. He just grabbed my hand. I'm emotional now. My eyes are red. I was like, I didn't even wanna wear makeup today. I was like, I'm not even gonna wear makeup today cause it's like a bittersweet moment though, but I'm like exhausted a little bit. And like, I think I just have like a built up of emotion. I don't know how to explain it. But my eyes are red. Jesus Christ, we gotta get it together, girl. We gotta get it together, Kendrick. Woo! Woo, child. I can't wait to bark you here. Bark, girl. Oh, my booty look good, y'all. Wait, let me show y'all. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay. This dress I got from Micah's. Micah sent me this dress. And. Look at the booty, y'all. Look at that little poke back it up. Okay. So, yeah. This dress is from Micah's. These heels are from 
Simi shoes. Shout out to Simi. <laughs> and then this bag is from, I want to say Micah's. So yeah, we're rocking a Micah's slash Simi outfit today. But I remember, <laughs> who took this picture? I think Angui took this picture of me. I was standing right here in this black dress two years ago. And this picture did so well on Instagram. And my body looked so good. I was so slim and snatched. Abs was coming through and everything. Y'all legs was looking good, everything. And I stood right here and took this picture. I remember this. It was my first time in this lounge. Memories. It's so crazy how like time flies. Time literally freaking flies. We moved here two and a half years ago. Coming up on three years. And it felt like it was yesterday. Literally felt like it was yesterday. Huh? Yeah, I know. 